on behalf of 24HourAnswers.com, I welcome you to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to review how to find the vertex of a parabola as well as discussing some increasing and decreasing intervals. I like to review this in my calculus courses because the algebraic techniques that we can apply to a parabola, they're very limited when we get to cubic, quartic, and rational functions and stuff like that. But I do want to show you how algebra can be used to find the intervals of increasing and decreasing parts of this parabola. And then in a future video, we will look at the calculus techniques to get the same answer. We have f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 2. We want to find the intervals on which f of x is increasing and where f of x is decreasing. Now, thinking back to your college algebra days when you were dealing with parabolas, we have an x squared, that's our highest degree here. This is a parabola, a quadratic, and it's guaranteed to open up. So automatically what this tells us is that our vertex is going to be a minimum. It's going to be the lowest point on the curve. And on the left side, this is where our function is decreasing. On the right side of this vertex, this is where our function starts to increase. That's all pure algebraic. So thinking back to your college algebra days, you can find the x value of your vertex by using the formula negative b over 2a, given your quadratic is in standard form. And it is in this case. Therefore, if we take negative b, that's going to be the 6. Recall, the standard form of a quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to f of x. So therefore, our negative b will be negative 6 over 2 times a, which is 1. And that's going to be equal to negative 6 divided by 2, so we have negative 3. Let's go ahead and take this one step further and find f of negative 3. Even though we're not told to find the vertex, we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. So let's plug negative 3 into f of x. And working all this out, we have negative 3 squared is 9, minus 18 is negative 9, plus 2 gives us negative 7. So our vertex is negative 3, comma, negative 7. For our intervals of increasing and decreasing, we are decreasing on the left side of this vertex. So therefore, values of x from negative infinity to negative 3 to our vertex, this is where we're decreasing. We are increasing on values of x from negative 3 to positive infinity. Recall when you talk about intervals, you do use values of x when we talk about intervals of increasing and decreasing. And here we are inside of Desmos with the same f of x curve and we have our vertex down here of negative 3, negative 7. And what I want you to notice is for values of x on the left side of negative 3, for all these values of x here, the function is going down from left to right, hence it's decreasing. And then on the right side of negative 3, it is increasing. This matches our interval notation because we said for values of x from negative infinity, all the way to this negative 3. All these values of x from negative infinity to negative 3, f of x is decreasing. And then from negative 3 on to positive infinity for values of x, the function is increasing. The function's going up. Now, we took a pure algebraic approach here. In the part two of this, we will apply the calculus, which is actually going to be much faster uh, than us doing what we did here. Even though the negative b over 2a deal is not that bad at all, it's still limited because we cannot apply this approach to cubics, quartics, trigonometric functions, rational functions, square root functions. There's so many things that we cannot apply this technique to, and that's why we need the calculus to tackle more of these problems. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Links to our social media are in the description below.